The Life of an Eel by Zinnia Bailey. The American eel, a migratory fish, is born in the Atlantic Ocean, or more specifically, the Sargasso Sea. The exact spawning location is unknown, but scientists can make an estimate based on where the smallest larval eels, leptocephali, have been found. Once the eggs hatch, the leptocephali are carried towards North America by Gulf Stream currents. Along the way, the larvae transform into glass eels. This journey takes about a year to complete. There are several factors that contribute to the decline in eel populations. Eels are popular as bait for recreational and commercial fishermen, and are also sensitive to water quality conditions and pollutants. Habitat loss is also a factor. In the Hudson and its tributaries, the eels transition from glass eels to elvers, gaining pigment in the process. Elvers then start feeding and growing exponentially, transitioning to the life stage known as yellow eels. Eels will live most of their adult life in the estuary system. Once sexually mature, eels return to the Sargasso Sea to spawn. For males, this takes 10 to 12 years, and for females, it can take 20 years or more. Their backs darken in color, bellies lighten, and eyes grow larger so they are better equipped for the ocean journey. At this life stage, they are known as silver eels. Very little is known about this return journey to the Sargasso Sea. If you want to help the local American eel population, volunteer for the Hudson River Glass Eel Project. The eel project sets up bike nets in tributaries of the Hudson. Each day in the spring, volunteers and students check the nets, count the eels, record the data, and release the eels above the next barrier to migration. Look at all of the data they've collected. The graphs show the average amount of glass eels collected per day over a span of almost 10 years. Some graphs show an increase in the average amount of eels collected per sampling day, while some show the opposite. This could represent a change in the local American eel population, or it could be due to the increase in volunteers over the years. If you're interested in joining the eel project, shoot a message to the email below. Happy eeling!